All right, hello, my fellow investor, Sissy Intelligent Investor here. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a stock recommendation. Now, before I give you the stock recommendation, just know that these stocks are always a risk. So you have to do extensive research before you jump into a stock. Um, every stock I own, I do extensive research on it. And the stock I'm going to recommend, I've looked at all its analytics, all its books. I mean, how much they made, how profitable they've been, um, how profitable they're going to be in the future and how they're looking forward to the future. Like I've done extensive, extensive research. So I, like I said, I've been researching the stock for about a week constantly. Um, I have like a watch list of stocks that I like and I'm doing a bunch of research. Um, now I know everybody's all up in the EV market and I understand that. Um, the new administration that's coming in is all about EV, but honestly, it's going to take a while. It's going to take about another 30 years before we fully move to EV. So check out this stock. Now, the stock I'm going to be talking about is ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil has been a giant for a long time, and they're going to continue to be a giant for a good while. Now, you can say EV is the future. Of course, it could be the future, but the present is still oil, crude oil. So, I mean, we're going to be using gas cars for a good while before we switch up fully to electric cars. I know there's going to be the whole Neo thing going on, but for me, I don't trust Neo yet. Um, I have a lot of doubts about it. But I'm going to do a good video on that. I'm like, I've done extensive, extensive research on that. So check that video out when it comes out. Like I said, I'm going to try to do a really good video on that. And I'm going to be doing a lot of explanation. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate. But I mean, I'm just going to throw facts out there. At the end, facts are what matters. Um, but with ExxonMobil, a great, great, great company. Um, now this past year, like as you know, all the oil companies had a bad year. You know, you see a drop there. Um, it had a big drop this year, um, as well, like I said, as well as the other oil companies had a little recover and then it dropped back down and it's slowly recovering. Now I feel a stock can actually get back to its prices back here. It can get up to about $80. It's fair price is about $80. I believe it can go up even higher. Um, they do pay a pretty good dividend. So, I mean, they've been increasing it yearly well, but this past year, because of the pandemic, they kind of didn't increase it that much. They increased it by like uh, hundreds of cents so it's not like a huge difference um so i mean they're still in the growth bar but they're slowly um doing it because of profits are not as high but this next year the prediction is about a 402 percent increase so that is huge news because things eventually are going to have to normalize understand that this year vaccines are starting to come out all that good stuff oil is going to go up Oil is starting to do a recovery. The barrels are going to be going up to 55 now, hopefully by next year, which means, yeah, of course, gas is going to get a little bit more expensive, but you can't do anything about it. So get into ExxonMobil, do your research and buy into it if you can. This stock will double by the end of next year. I'm telling you, I have good feeling about this from what I'm looking, unless something really bad happens with oil, then, you know, jump ship, but... I don't think it is, you know, even though we get a market crash next year, which I predict there's going to be a market crash. Um, I'll explain in another video from that. But companies like this will not suffer a lot because people are going to still have to drive. Again, like I said, everybody has a gas car. Ships, everything, you know, other parts of the country in the world um, use gas. And we're not going to change that overnight. So understand that oil is still going to be a source that we're going to need. Um, heaters, all that stuff. We use oil. So it's going to start going up. Um, and like I said, guys, it's something to really look at. Like, I mean, I know it doesn't say to buy. It says mainly sell, you know, or hold. And I mean, I don't really like these analysts, but you know, like I said, I've done extensive research on these companies and these stocks. Like, honestly, this is a company that could really blow up and really double your money. Um, now it is a gamble. Understand with any other stock, it doesn't matter if it's an electric stock or Tesla, Neo, all these companies, they all have a risk because we don't know what direction they're going to go. Um, same thing with this company, but this company also has a huge reward possibility because of what's upcoming in the future. Like I said, the barrels of gas are going to go up, which means this company is going to end up going up because they're going to be making profits. They're predicting about a 402% increase. That is a 402% increase. Just listen to that. 402% increase um, for up to next year. So, I mean, you know, like airplanes, all that stuff. If they start flying more, you know, you get me, everything's going to be flowing. So, 
again, have that in mind. Just do your research. Constantly pay attention to the news on it. Just keep a heavy eye on it. I'll try to help you guys see when is the best time to buy, when is the best time to jump out, all that good stuff. But for me, I'm already jumping into it. Um, if it keeps coming down, then I'm going to keep buying more and more and more. But like I said, I have an aspect of what I'm going to buy. So like, let's say ExxonMobil, I'm going to invest about $20,000 in it. So I'm going to put like about $1,000, you know, tomorrow. If it drops more, I'll put in another 1000 If it starts going up, I'm going to put in like 2000 And I'm just going to wait for it, for it to come down. Every time it keeps coming down, I'm just going to keep investing until I hit that $20,000 mark. So that's what I'm doing. You know, if the stock ends up crashing, crashing more, unless it doesn't have any bad news on it, then I'm not going to jump ship, you know, unless there's something really bad happening with oil. Like I said, I don't think there is. Um, I feel like this stock is just going to be shooting up within the next year when they start showing profits each quarter. So slowly they'll, they're going to be having little good jumps of spurts, you know, so just pay attention to that. Keep it in your watch list if you don't feel secure about it, but do your research. Do that. And honestly, guys, you can honestly, I feel like you can honestly double your money. And like I said, if I have about $20,000 invested in it, by next year, I'll make an extra 20000 just by investing in the stock at the moment. So have that in mind. Just do your research, guys. You guys can make more money this way. I know people like jumping into options and stuff like that, but if you're new, don't do options yet. Do moves like this, slowly grow your portfolio, understand the market a bit more, and then take those risks later on, but not at the moment, guys. But, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to talk about. This is a stock recommendation I wanted to recommend for you guys. Like I said, always do your research first, but besides that, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below, or send me a personal message. I'll like to have a conversation with you about stocks and stuff like that. I, like I said, I've been in this game for about 12 years. I'm 29 years old right now. I've made a lot of money from the stock market, honestly. I've been blessed. I've made so much more than I thought I would ever make. And um, like I said, slow and steady gets you there. Um, I didn't have to do options or day trading in the beginning to actually get to my wealth right now. Um, I've got there by being patient getting into dividend stocks and letting those profits grow on their own. So honestly, thank you for everything, guys. I'll see you guys next time.